Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Arena. Today we have Paula's Wishes and also the Snail Mail Creative Cuts dies. These products are part of the Mama Elephant 7th anniversary release and they'll be available on September 15th along with a lot of other new goodies. Let's start off with the pieces for the Snail Mail Creative Cuts dies. There's a frame here and the inside of the frame it fits an a2 size card there's a mailbox with a slot there's a letter here with a heart cut out and then there's also another letter here that you can fold i like using those two pieces together it's so adorable you can fit it inside the little mailbox slot and here there's some postage marks that I've cut out and you can either use it as a negative die cut or a positive die cut, but there's four pieces to that. Let's start off by stamping out the sentiments. I absolutely adore this sentiment set. It is Paula's Wishes. It's lettered by Paula Esteron. And these are mini versions of stamp sets that Mama Elephant already carries. The bigger versions are very large and they cover mostly the size of an A2 size card. I love these mini versions so much. The sentiments that it comes with are hello friend, thank you, sending hugs, wishing you just a note, happy birthday, oh happy day, and happy mail. I'm using happy mail today. I did white heat emboss it. And for this happy birthday one, I'm just straight stamping it with black on the mailboxes. I'll be making two cards today. I'll be making a portrait and a landscape card. For this first card, I did some ridiculous masking that I did not have to do. So this first one, I kind of did the long way as far as ink blending. And then the second one, I figured out how to do it quicker. So this is the inside of the snail mail die. And on the inside, I wanted it to be a light color and bordering that postage edge, they're stitching. And I wanted that edge to be a darker color. So I have two different oxide ink colors here and I'm doing the lighter in the inside and then I'm using that darker color on the outside, that outside color is dusty concord. And so I'm carefully doing some masking here just so I could ink blend it, that sliver of the outside because I really just wanted that to be a darker color. At some point I figured out I didn't need this post-it tape because you can, it's a straight line so you can just use a piece of paper to do the masking. So that was way easier because you had to, I had to be super careful with those thin post-it notes because they were thin and they weren't that sticky and they weren't coming off. So I kind of like this way better. So for this next one, I just use one oxide ink because I figured out I can just do the inside super light. And I didn't have to mask the outside because I'm going to do it darker on the borders. So I believe this is Peacock Feathers. I that's another one of my favorite oxide inks. And then I'm going to just have a heavier hand on the outside borders and I'm just gonna use a piece of straight paper. And this was so much easier than <laughs> what I was doing before. But sometimes you don't realize these things when you're um, making stuff on the fly. So I really liked doing that and I really liked how that border just sets everything off and sets off the scene. So I realize we're doing everything twice here, but I think when you're making a card and you like the design, just making two is so much faster than making them separately because you have all of the materials out. So I have two card bases here for my two cards and I'm directly adhering that frame piece from the snail mail die. And then I'm going to adhere my panels that I ink blended on the inside. And of course that's going to fit like a puzzle piece because it's coming from one die. And so I'm doing again that twice. I'll have that frame piece and I'm going to adhere it straight to the card base. And then I will adhere the panel that I ink blended straight to the card base. The glue that I'm using is the Art Glitter Designer 
dries clear. And I thought about it and I rarely adhere all my elements directly to the card base, but this worked out. I also wanted to play with the letter die cuts and there's a folded piece that folds into a little envelope and you can put a tiny little message on the inside. And I've cut that out on coordinating colors to my mailboxes. They're so super cute, they fold into each other. And I'm going to layer on top of it the two other letter pieces with the heart cut out. And it's really cute because if you remove the little heart cut out, you can see the color on the inside of the heart. So I did cut those out in white. I'm gonna be using these little mini letter pieces to hang out of the mailbox die cuts that we cut out and stamped our sentiment on. I really love this letter. I really, really like all of the little tiny accessory pieces in the bigger die sets that Mama Elephant carries. I'm gonna take my letter and I'm gonna hang it out of the slot in the mailbox. And I'm gonna put it there so I know where to put my foam tape. And so I'm just using foam tape because I'm gonna put that in the front of the card. And then I'm going to take my powder tool and put it around the tape so the letter doesn't stick to it. And then I'm going to adhere that whole mailbox on the front of the card. And then that way, because of the positioning of the foam tape, the letter will rest perfectly like I want it to. We're doing the same thing here. We're positioning the letter so we know where we want it to stop. Then we're going to put our double foam tape. We're going to powder the foam tape and the slot so everything moves nicely and nothing sticks. And then we're going to put that on the front of the card. This is my portrait card. And it's such an adorable little mailbox and I love the little slit details so you can put the letters inside. I also thought I would add my little penguin agenda images to my mailbox card. And I love these because there's different types of penguins and you can tailor your design because there's different types of penguins. So this is a birthday card. So I took out the penguins with the little balloon and the little gifts. And of course, I always have to use the one with the balloons. And then I really love the penguin holding the letter because I think it's so perfect for the snail mail die. I'm adhering the little penguin agenda images to the card with foam dots. I just love how this came out and I love the little letter detail, how you can remove it and put another little additional secret message on the inside. So here's my second card. This one says happy mail. So of course I'm using that penguin again with the letter. I think he looks so cute trying to mail his little letter. And then he's asking his little penguin friends to help him out. So the penguins I chose for these ones, they have a lot of penguins that are plain. So it's perfect for any card that you want to use them for. And I think they're so adorable. And I'm so in love with these penguins. They're purple. And I didn't know if that would work out or look okay, but I think they're so cute. So they're helping their little friend mail his little letter. So this card is exactly like the other card, except it's a different orientation and a different color. But these would be so easy to mass produce. My spacing was a little bit off. I have a little bit of space up on top that is bothering me. <laughs> so off camera, I did color another penguin image and I did color in the one with the balloons, and of course we need him, it's mandatory. So that will finish off that card. I'm calling these two cards done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel and tap on that bell to be notified of future videos. I hope you guys have an awesome day and happy crafting. Bye guys.